Hi everyone. Today we will be discussing important information about a vector-borne disease known as the chikungunya virus and ways you can keep yourself safe when you find yourself in infected areas. The chikungunya virus has been a major hot topic this year due to its recent outbreak in September across Latin America, Africa, and Asia, with the majority of the cases found in Brazil, Chad, and Thailand. Until this year, not many people were aware of the chikungunya virus, while also many individuals still don't know about its consequences and effects around the world. Chikungunya is a mosquito-borne viral disease first described during an outbreak in southern Tanzania in 1952. It is an RNA virus that belongs to the alpha virus genus of the family Togaviridae. The name chikungunya derives from a word in the Kimakonde language, meaning to become contorted, and describes the stooped appearance of sufferers with joint pain. As a result, this virus continues to present itself across the globe, with reoccurring periodic outbreaks. The chikungunya outbreaks were first reported in 2013 in the Caribbean islands, and since then, more than 1.7 million suspected cases of the chikungunya virus have been reported. So how is it transmitted? Well, the chikungunya virus is a vector-borne disease, which is a disease spread by the bite of blood-feeding anthropods, such as mosquitoes, ticks, and fleas. Specifically, the chikungunya virus is spread mostly by the bite of two species of Aedes mosquitoes, the Aedes aegypti and Aedes albopictus mosquitoes. These species are also known to transmit other vector-borne diseases, such as the dengue virus. The chikungunya virus can be transmitted in two different ways, as you can see on the right, through the sylvatic and the urban transmission cycle. The difference between the two is that viruses in the sylvatic cycle are first contracted from non-human primates, like monkeys, when mosquitoes feed on their blood. Then, these mosquitoes go on to pass the virus to humans. In the urban cycle, which is more common, mosquitoes pass on the virus to humans without contacting non-human primates first. So now let's take a look into the signs and symptoms of the chikungunya virus. The chikungunya virus doesn't often result in death. However, the symptoms can be severe and disabling. Most people infected with the chikungunya virus will develop some symptoms. Symptoms usually begin three to seven days after being bitten by an infected mosquito. The most common symptoms are fever and joint pain. However, other symptoms also include headaches and nausea, vomiting and diarrhea, persistent rashes and chills, severe muscle aches, also known as myalgia, and severe swelling of the joints. Acute symptoms usually resolve themselves in seven to 10 days. Joint pain can last for months and even result in chronic arthritis and lymphopenia, which is the decrease in white blood cell count. So now let's take a look into what actually causes these signs and symptoms and how this virus replicates. So how does this virus go from just a bite to showing symptoms? The chikungunya virus begins when an infected mosquito bites the human and the virus is introduced into the skin and the bloodstream. The virus then replicates into the fibroblasts which are tissue cells of the dermis, which is a layer of the skin, and travels through the bloodstream to multiple tissues. Viral replication occurs in target tissues, which are mainly muscles, joints, and skin, and possibly even the liver and spleen. After the viral replication in these target tissues, there is an increased viremia, which is an increased amount of viruses in the blood, which causes a release of inflammatory agents in the blood vessels, which then causes fevers. The populations at risk include newborns, adults over 65 years of age, and individuals with underlying medical conditions such as high blood pressure, heart disease, and diabetes. The virus could be fatal in older adults with these comorbidities. When looking at prevention and control, it is important that if you know you have the chikungunya virus, Avoid getting further mosquito bites during the first week of illness. The virus may be circulating in the blood during this time and therefore could be transmitted to new mosquitoes who may in turn infect other people. The proximity of mosquito vector breeding sites to human habitation is a significant risk factor for chikungunya. The main method to control or prevent the transmission of chikungunya virus is to combat the mosquito vectors. Prevention and control relies heavily on reducing the number of natural habitats that support breeding of mosquitoes. Sustained community efforts to monitor hotspots and reduce mosquito breeding can be an effective tool to reduce vector populations. In terms of personal protective measures, they are mainly focused on preventing mosquito bites. Interventions include wearing long clothes that cover the skin, also using insect repellents consistently, 
and also mosquito bed nets when sleeping are effective measures. Improving home conditions also goes a long way by using screens on doors and windows and repairing any openings. Using air conditioning also provides an unsuitable environment for mosquitoes, preventing them from biting at night. So what happens if you get diagnosed with the chikungunya virus? Unfortunately, there is no vaccine to prevent or medicine to treat the chikungunya virus. However, there are ways to treat the symptoms. These include getting plenty of rest, drink fluids to prevent dehydration, take medicines such as Tylenol to reduce fever and pain. It is also highly recommended that you do not take aspirin and other non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, as this could possibly worsen your symptoms. When looking at the challenges and global burden of the chikungunya virus in the Americas, there were 693,489 suspected cases reported to the Pan-American Health Organization. More than 1 million suspected cases were also reported in 2014. Europe also faces greatest burden with almost 1,500 cases. Many of these outbreaks have occurred recently in the past decade. The total estimated costs associated with these outbreaks range from 14.8 to $33.4 million. In terms of the challenges, the lack of a vaccine is causing consistent periodic outbreaks of the chikungunya virus. In addition, it also shares similar mosquito vectors and symptoms as the dengue virus and can be clinically misdiagnosed. For more information on the chikungunya virus, visit cdc.gov chikungunya.